Hey, so these are weekly messages for all 12 zodiac signs. Just a quick reading. Um, it's general. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. It's all right. All right. So uh, here we go. We're going to do two cards for each zodiac sign. Starting with Aries. Let's see. What do we have to say for Aries for the week of December 10th to what? December 16th? What do we have to say for Aries? All right. Okay. It came out in the reverse. Page of Wands in the reverse. So somebody's not giving messages of moving into a new direction. Um, also, someone's not, uh, yeah, just no messages, no communication here about forward movement. Wow. There might be some stagnancy with the Wheel of Fortune here, uh, but things will get moving. Okay. So for the week, for this week, Aries, it looks like. There might be a, a shift in energy or slow down or what the cards are asking you to do is slow down because things are changing for the better for you. Keep in mind, your fortune can't change unless things change. So things are changing for you. Okay, the bottom of the deck, the sun. So it looks very, very good for you and very promising for you, Aries. Okay, take care. So now we're here with Taurus. Okay, it's supposed to be two cards. We're not going to take those. So it's a cluster of cards. Two cards for the weekly energy. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Could be dealing with the Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Virgo. Let's see. Wow, Will of Fortune. Page <laughs> one. I shuffle the shit out of these cards. Um. Aries had the cards like this. So you could be dealing with an Aries, okay? It looks good for you, Taurus. Um, it looks like you may have um, kind of cut away some things that just didn't serve you. You got to the truth, the heart of a matter, to the root of an issue. Now things are changing for you. Um, you may have had a conversation with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It opens up um, free form or free flowing change. Um, there might be messages of moving also or wanting to, to move, uh, go in a new direction here. Okay, so that's where we are, Taurus. I feel so like I need to pull another card for you because Aries get the same two cards, but in one reversed and one in a different position. Wow, the star card. It looks like this talk that you had with maybe an air sign really clear the air to where there can be healing, restoration. There's lots of good feelings here. Something came about, something miraculous, something that someone had been praying for. This could be baby, this could be home, this could be anything. Something that you wish and hope for is here. Okay, Taurus, so this is your week. Uh, take care. Bye. Okay, Gemini, here we go. These are the messages for the week. We're going to pull two cards and talk about them, all right? Let's see what they have to say for Gemini for this week. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer in particular. Let's see what's going on. We have the Two of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Woo. Okay, you coming up in your own energy? Some of you know that a decision needs to be made here. You, you're failing to see the truth you don't see a way out or it's just a lot of heavy energy so and there's a lot of unknown get more information because the moon is here you want the truth about how maybe this person feels about you what they really want you want truth and clarity because you feel like something is unclear here okay so this week it's about getting the truth getting clear with yourself go ahead and make this decision but you can't do it without your truth so have the conversations that you need to have so that you can move forward um this could be same sex relationship also it uh, doesn't have to be um, but you need to figure out how someone feels about the connection because uh, there's some underlying issue here okay get more information some of you are in denial about a situation too okay all right, Gemini, um, I hope the best for this week for you. Take care.
Okay, Cancer. So here we go. Two cards for the week. All right, Cancer. Okay, Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. All right. So we'll take them. Even though it's supposed to only be two, two cards. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. In reverse. Ace of Swords. King of Pentacles. The Lovers. Upright. The Empress. Ooh, at the bottom of the deck. Some change is supposed to be happening here. Someone either can't have the change or is delaying the change because there's a conversation that needs to be had or there's a cutting away. There's something that you need to decide and be divisive on. Um, there's a choice to be made. Maybe between a Gemini, Libra, Taurus. Um, maybe in regards to... There's a man here. This could be a, a male cancer or... If you're a female cancer, um, there's two parties here, you know, and one man or vice versa. You guys attribute the sex to it. I don't know. But uh, there's a choice that needs to be made. But it's like it needs to be made and cancer knows that it needs to be made. And this week, it's all about coming out of that stagnant energy and knowing that change needs to happen. Clarity needs to come. A cutting away of. Someone needs to be logical, rational, and decisive about who or what it is they want. There might be another woman or man in the wings. Just saw the Six of Cups. Maybe from the past. Someone that is uh, definitely um, has an impact on this decision. So this is where cancer is for the week okay all right cancer i hope the best for you take care hi leo uh we're gonna pull two cards for the week and see what the week energy is okay all right all right that's way more than two cards Bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or there is um, a wife or someone you are obligated to. Obligation here. Let's see. Justice and the Queen of Swords. Oh, she just keeps popping up. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, Libra. Leo, you have to make a decision. Are you in or are you out? Are you going to um, have justice by way of cutting away or, or, or doing away with? Or are you going to be here and, and stay in it? Because you, you've made obligation to someone. You made promise to someone or, some, or something. Uh, so you have to decide. Are you, are you here for it or are you leaving? Also, you want to be clear. There's a conversation, of course, that needs to be had here. There's also what's due to you karmically is, is coming back to you, Leo. And it might be that you, you need to cut away from. Some of you may be going through divorce and or separation court matters legal proceedings this is what the week is okay leo i wish you the best take care hi virgo um so this is a reading for the week we're going to pull two cards to see what your energy is let's see, virgo. Let's see. okay all right bottom of the deck well, king of pentacles coming up in your own element um that's really good let's see what this is about page of pentacles five of wands some of you there's inner conflict about starting this new thing or starting over or or do i go backwards and try to start over and give message or give a, a gift of there's inner conflict uh, you want to, maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or another earth sign like, like yourself, 
somebody wants to start this whole thing back up. But there's so many perspectives here in your head or around you that make you just conflicted about starting anew or starting over. Okay, so this is where you are, Virgo. Um, I hope and I wish the best for you. Take care. Okay, hi, Libra. So let's pull two cards for the week for you. The first card. And our second card, and the card at the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles. Seems like Libra really wants to put work in on self, work in on school, work on, in on perfecting your own craft, work in on the emotional and mental self. Um, Libra just cut something or someone out. Um, just really trimming back the fat in life about a situation or about every aspect of life. Just to kind of put the focus in on Libra. The Emperor... And tempers, yeah. Getting back in control of things so that you can have balance. Some of you could be dealing with, and this is 100% orchestrated by the universe because these are two major arcanas. The emperor of the temperance could be dealing with um, Aries or Sagittarius. If not, it's just an energy of, I need to take back control of myself and my life and my business, the business of me, so that I can have balance and res restore balance emotional physical mental spiritual balance here because i have been off for a while i have been allowing other people to control so i'm going to put energy effort time in on myself so this is what your week is about libra looks very very good i wish you the best take care Okay, Scorpio, so here we are. Let's pull two cards for the week for you. There's one. Okay, Page of Swords in reverse. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there's not much communication. Seven of Cups. A lot of fantasy, a lot of fantasy. A lot of daydreaming, fantasy, there's options. You need to know which one to take or which one to embark on. You're at a crossroads. You need to get more information. You need to speak to someone. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be a younger Air sign, this could be a child, you need to, or a young adult, you need to speak. You need to gain clarity by way of communication, even if it was something short. It was something to the point and frank, it would definitely give you clarity about which way you need to go. Uh, because you're making a life-altering decision, I think you're you're doing it even without all of the the clarity you need to do so. Somebody could be slandering your name. Somebody could be talking really bad about you also. If there's no communication. There's um, gossip. There is just really slanderous type situation here. Um, do you feel like you're choosing in the dark? But you're making the choice. This is your week, Scorpio. I wish you the best. Take care. Hi, Sagittarius. So we're here to pull two cards for the week for you. Let's see what the cards have to say for this week. There's way too many. Okay. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Everybody's getting a Page of Swords. Like get more information. There might be an abrupt cutting away of a short message of a stop of something coming to a halt. Six of Wands, King of Cups. You could be spying on someone or they're spying on you. 
There could be gossip. There could be talk about you moving forward, getting a lot of success, victory, success in your business, helping your business. Also, there could be someone spying on you because you're completely in love with someone and you're giving them a lot of attention, a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of attention, a lot of affection. There's someone else who's not happy about it. Um, they want to come in between. Okay. So this is what your week looks like. It looks like, um, you know, you're, you're 100% in love. There's somebody on the outside or the outskirts of the relationship who, um, is jealous. Okay. All right. So take care. Score up oh, Sagittarius. Bye. And now we're here with Capricorn. Let's pull two cards for the week for you. Okay. Got three cards popping out. The bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a Capricorn woman. Could be a man, but this is typically Capricorn woman. Let's see. The Five of Swords. The Ace of Pentacle. The Eight of Swords. Some of you made a large purchase. Or you're receiving a large sum of money. You're either waiting for it. You're doing verbal battle for it. You might be in court about this. Um, you're feeling stuck and stagnant. Until you get this money. Or some of you made a large purchase. And there's like buyer's remorse. You don't know how you're going to pay for it. You're scrambling here. Um, there's a lot of mental energy here. In regards to. Did I make the right decision here. And some of you, it's just more so about like a court battle. You're feeling there's no way out. Like it's not going to turn in your favor. Stay in prayer, meditation about this, okay? Um, also, some of you could be stagnant about or, or stuck in thought about either engagement or um, moving. You don't see a way of, of how to do that. There's not a lot of money. You're waiting for money. Okay. Alright Capricorn. So this is your week. Hope that it gave you a bit of clarity. Thank you. Okay. Hi Aquarius. Okay. So we're here to do your weekly reading. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Two cards. All right. Okay. Bottom of the deck. The Hermit. Okay. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you could be in separation from pretty much everybody. Or um, from a particular person. Um, just really trying to examine yourself. And what is the next step here for you? Five of Wands. Page of Wands. Some of you are interconflicted about making a move. Uh, it could be a physical move going in a new direction so many different perspectives so many different ways that this can pan out there's also some of you are conflicted because you're conflicted because it's a, it's the shoulda coulda what is or what if so it leaves you in a place of the hermit status setting yourself apart thinking about what it is you really want Thinking about past experience. Thinking about which way to go. Coming down off that hill and then making and taking action here. But there's a sense of, of inner conflict. There could even be competition or outer conflict in regards to. There could be gossip going on around you. Uh, but at the same time, lots of people are talking about you. Talking about how you dress. You might be really fanciful in your dress. Some people are, yeah, lots of people are talking about you. Even though you're in separation from something. Uh, it's almost, you're in hermit mode, but at the same time, you're getting noticed here. Okay? So this is your week, Aquarius. Okay? Take care. Okay, hi Pisces. 
let's get two cards for the week for you. Let's see what the cards have to say. This card wants to come out. Bottom of the deck, the Eight of Wands. Rapid communication. It could be loving communication. It could be about the trouble and jealousy in a particular situation. Let's see what this is about. The Sun, nice. Three of Wands. The Tower. Okay. So this might be about jealousy and trouble in a particular situation i don't feel like it's with you i feel like maybe you're dealing with a leo uh you were expecting this communication or expecting them they were expecting you the, something was found out and now things are moving there's lots of communication it might even be communication about how some Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio left behind a situation um, abruptly and now that they're, they're you know communicating with you about this about moving forward possibly whatever it may be the Sun is here blessing it so it blessing it so it's positive it's positivity here so this is good um, a foundation that was built on faulty ground is, is coming down. It looks like this was in the making. So uh, this is what your week looks like, Pisces. Um, okay, take care, guys. And stay tuned for the elemental uh, messages. Okay, and now we have the Angel Answers deck. We're going to pull a card for each element. We'll start with the element of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What do you have to tell Gemini? Okay. Not the right time. Remain positive. Okay, so this is a waiting game for my air signs. Okay. Not the right time. Remain positive, though. Uh, God's got something in the making for you. Okay, so just, just hold on. Wait. I'm going to do the element of water. Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, wait, wow, everybody's in a holding place this week, okay, and what, uh, what is the angel answers for Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, What's the angel answer, peaceful resolution, nice okay. and what's the message for fire Aries Sagittarius Leo what's the angel answers message for fire improving health nice all right okay so that is is all that I have for you for this week. I hope that everyone has a really blessed week. Take care. Remember to stay in prayer. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, guys.